the fastest processor in the most affordable iPhone. The new iPhone SE follows the same strategy as its predecessor, the iPhone SE from 2016. Externally, the design looks very familiar, that's why we at iDoc take a look at the more interesting improvements, which are the ones inside the iPhone SE. At first glance, the new iPhone SE is strikingly similar to the iPhone 8. Apple is again copying the product design of an older model and only renewing individual components such as the camera and the processor. To open the iPhone, we first have to remove the two pentalobe screws on the lower edge of the housing, as with previous models. Then the glued display can be removed. The new SE is now also sealed compared to the previous model from 2016. The IP67 certification promises water resistance for 30 minutes depth of 1 meter. This makes opening the device a little more difficult, but with enough hot air and the right tools, this is no problem. Now the display can be opened to the side. But not too far, because the display's flex cables are also very short on the iPhone SE and can be easily damaged, which could be prevented technically. However, as is well known, Apple does not consider it important that their customers can repair their iPhones themselves. The layout of the components inside hardly differs from the iPhone 8. The logic board still has the L-shaped design and the battery can be removed by pulling out the adhesive strips. This at least makes a battery replacement a bit easier. The battery has the same dimensions and capacity as the one of the iPhone 8, only the battery connector has changed a little bit in its shape. The camera module has also hardly changed at all. The sensor inside is probably the same as in the iPhone 8, but the new main processor now makes it possible to take portraits with blurred backgrounds with the single camera, just like with the iPhone XR. A new feature compared to the iPhone SE from 2016 is the possibility to charge the iPhone wirelessly. The charging coil on the inside is responsible for this. Also necessary for this is that the back is not made of metal. Replaced by Face ID on the new iPhones, the SE again uses a home button with fingerprint sensor to unlock the device. The home button is permanently coupled to the logic board of the iPhone and can therefore not be replaced. The appearance of the 1334 by 750 pixel LCD display with a pixel density of 326 pixels per inch has also remained the same. The display has not become noticeably thinner. We suspected this before the release due to the lack of 3D touch. It's possible that this function is still built in, but disabled by the software. Summing it all up, we can say, what's new about the iPhone SE is primarily its inner values. With the A13 Bionic, Apple is installing the most powerful processor currently available in the iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro models. This means that the iPhone SE will remain up to date for a long time thanks to future iOS updates. The camera is not quite up to date and could have been upgraded with a night mode. Since not much has changed regarding the components, we expect relatively cheap spare parts in the near future. That's why the iPhone SE not only offers a good price-performance ratio at the time of purchase, but is also cheap to repair in the long term and thus somewhat more sustainable. Nevertheless, we find it disappointing that Apple continues to complicate repairs and uses for example four different types of screws in the iPhone SE. Our conclusion on reparability, the battery and display can be replaced quickly and easily, all other components are also modular, there are primarily screws and not a lot of glue inside, which has a positive effect on the reparability, the replacement display is probably relatively cheap, the proprietary screws require special screwdrivers, there are a lot of fragile flexible cables, the home button is coupled to the logic board by software and is therefore not replaceable. On our website www.idoc.eu we will soon publish the repair guides for the new iPhone SE. There you will also find our high quality tools and spare parts for various smartphone models. Subscribe to our newsletter and check out our blog if you are interested in repairs and all about the technology of smartphones. We also appreciate you subscribing to our YouTube channel and giving the video a thumbs up. See you next time.